to some of his other albums, and it's very, he's got a lot of guest vocalists and stuff, so it's it's a unique album, let's put it that way. It's, it's a very yeah. 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 okay. back. God, was it one of the ones that you had I used to a long time ago be a fan of these guys, but this is, this is um, one of my freaking Tom, so I don't know if going to be able to make it out. Kids are buying records like crazy, and vinyls are outselling CDs and all other, you know, physical media now. So, and Record Store Day uh, is two times a year. It's one in the spring and then one on Black Friday, and it's all limited edition, you know, uh, releases. So it's things that you're not going to get other than Record Store Day, and it kind of adds to the mystique. It's just something about holding a physical copy of music and, and reading who produced it, reading who played guitar on it. It's great to have something where you can go in, you can meet other guys that love music, you can pull those dusty old records out and you can find something magic that you haven't heard that's not on Amazon Music, you know, a rare old thing and then you get to take it home and hear that needle drop. It, it's a special thing, so I think every town needs a good record store. I've, ever since I was a kid, I've always loved to collect vinyl albums. So it's part of that uh, collecting aspect. Music it all, has always been a very important part of my life. And the other thing that's really unique about Record Store Day is also you make friends. Just like I told my wife, I said, you know, even if I don't end up buying anything today, it's visiting the store, visiting with people that I saw last year that I still keep in touch with on Facebook. So it's not only collecting vinyl, but it's also there's a social aspect to it. To have a special day that's exclusive music from the, you know, all our favorite artists, it brings people in and it brings a group of people that wouldn't, wouldn't necessarily be here. Uh, so they'll come in and find those copies, the music they can't get, and it just adds the whole mystique and the whole, the whole magic of, of vinyl records, you know. There, there is something special about that sound when you hear that needle hit. Uh, there's something magic about the low end and how it how it sounds in a good stereo that's different than your phone being plugged in or Bluetooth or whatever. You hear a warmth, you hear a magic, and you can look at the album cover, and it's something special. If you don't do it, you need to at least experience it. You know, you don't have to buy all your records on vinyl, but you know, that Bruce Springsteen that you always listened to growing up, when you hear it hit that vinyl again, it's a it's a special spiritual thing, you know, that that is magic that uh, you need to experience.